Hi there, it's Mary Burak from Trading. Thank you very much for joining this video. You will be seeing now the recording of my live trading session. You will get to see all my screens, track my PL, and then learn a little bit more about my trading secrets. Stay until the end of the video because I will summarize and discuss some of the trades at the end. And I believe it's extremely educational. It's exactly as if you were sitting right here beside me and watching my screens. So I believe this is a very important video. Again, thank you very much for joining. Please hit that like button and subscribe button, subscribe to this channel. This is a live trading room where I'm sharing my picks with thousands of traders from all around the world. So you're very welcome to join the Trading session is just open and I'm going to join now my trading room members. And again, thank you very much for joining in. Hi traders, can I get sound test please? Mary, you sound just fine this morning. How are you? Perfect. Great. Good to see you all here in our live trading room and welcome our YouTube members. Please don't forget to hit that like button for us. We will appreciate that. I'll take over my, I'll take over the screens here. There you go, Mayor. Thank you. Market starts with very small gap up traders. The S&P is up 0.1%. Nasdaq up 0.1%. We did finish uh, Friday a little bit in red territory, but not much. Now watch SRPT. This stock is up 24%. Quite interesting. Is it a buyout? Yeah. Scott, do you know if it's a, that's a buyout? It behaves. I, I don't know on SRPT. I didn't okay. have it on my radar this morning. I can okay. look real quickly though if you hold on. Because I'm kind of... Yeah, I'll check as well. It doesn't seem like it's moving. No, earnings. Oops. Earnings? Really? It's a bit spready. It's very spready right now. We could consider going long over 151. Uh, FDA. FDA, yeah, they got an FDA nod for their uh, for one of their therapeutics, so it's a uh, it's based on some approval for okay uh, one of their uh, gene therapy drugs. Okay, good. Guys, over one fifty one, but it's, well, I'm, I'm I'm not gonna buy it this way. It's like Showing way too extended now. right now, and uh, sorry, it's it's way too spready right now. I will add under 30, 50 traders. That's funny, Mayor, that SRPT looks like a buyout, the, the chart, I just looked at it. Calling WDC, Roblox, Google, Shopify. I'm gonna post Meta over two thirds. 750 just in case it moves up it does not look much like it's going to do that now Tesla was on my short list but it's moved up quite a bit and I wonder if it can continue or will it fail I'm still interested in SRPT over 151 yes, but Again, it's too spready right now. If you look at the spreads, you can see the sellers are at 150.80 now, buyers at 150.17. I'm, I'm not going to get a 50 cent, not going to trade a 50 cent uh, spread, sometimes even more than that. I'll stay away. Market's initial digression, direction was down. We came down and we closed the gap. It was not much of a gap, you know. 0.1%. Nasdaq, I believe, also came Not down, closed the gap, but it's holding. Okay. HRB, nice, nice That's move with very first candle, then nothing now. The lows for WSDC, uh, WDC is a uh, 35. 56, that's why I'm not taking full share size. I'm long. Good luck, my first trade for the week. I'm posting OKE for short under 58.20. 
could be 25 I'll consider that as it comes down stop could be around 80 cents getting ready I'm short okay e stock is weak it's down almost nine percent it's kind of a strange behavior it's not the standard looking gap and go behavior here but it looks rather interesting again at the beginning of the trading session I don't have much size Google which was extremely weak moved up closed the gap and continues the daily of Google is rather interesting because we have a bull flag I thought it's going to be the pullback day of Google but seems like Google is kind of more interested in bull flagging and moving over the resistance so it seems let's wait and see what happens look at meta I'm about to go long meta the answer is yes over 237 I'm going to take a WTC. FSLR under 228 second short day of the, short trade of the day FSLR stop loss is going to be the 230 and I'm Getting. looking for at least two points to the downside here I am short the stock 228 watching meta for long going to add to this very close to triggering yeah. maybe it did I don't know it seems like it did touch over I didn't see that this could be the pullback day of FSLR Scott I guess that's why you're interested in that one yep I am I am I'm going to add under 227 here I was telling the team earlier I mean I, I could be as much as you know five to ten points lower here this morning on a pullback but we'll have to see it it's got a mind of its own it truly does under 70 I'll close a, a WDC with very small loss the market's still looking for direction we came down we're holding near the zero zero percent level Nasdaq is also holding down near zero okay he's doing nothing Disney initially came down nicely and then pulled back up right now this one looks like a bear flag formation you know what this could be a beautiful daily breakdown watch Disney look at the daily here we came down very strong last week we're holding near the lows this could be a very serious breakdown I want to short it on watch the, the ad here 227 91.40 posting Disney for a short in case it decides to come down Scott I'm going to join you right over here in FSLR I'm joining you WDC I'm short FSLR Green. let's go come on I think you just made a decision Come on, okay. Oh, nice decision in FSLR. <laughs> wow. It's going to be a home run trade for myself here on FSLR. And again, I, I think there's more to go here, but I've got full share size. I'm going to take some off here right at the 225.80. 
We're going to wait a couple of pennies here. There we go. Mark is still holding here. Two cents and got it. Woo! There we go. A little bit better. 225.60. I'm out of the trade. Three quarters of the trade. FSLR. I'm going to watch it bleed now. I think OKE is about to move down. WDC. We are above 35. I'm about to short good. Disney. Under 91.40. Now I'm short Disney. Just triggered. Market still unknown. Please remember that uh, on Monday mornings, normally we're having quite a big reversal at around the 30 minute mark. So whatever we're getting right now, actually we're not getting anything. We do have a small downtrend really. Market came down, holding near the lows. We don't really get much. Okay, FSLR. Very nice. Disney under the laws, that's good. I've got three short trades. FSLR, OKE, Disney. Come on, FSLR, keep coming. Now's the time to get greedy. I was looking for the two point mark to take a partial, it touched it. Come on, FSLR. I'm about to short Google. I'm getting ready for a partial FSLR. Looking for another spike down, which I'm not really getting now. Maybe now. Sellers are at 80, buyers at the lows, close to the lows. I don't want to see it moving. Oh. It did move over 225, did not give me a chance to take a partial. I'll have to Shop wait for Google. another leg down now in FSLR. WDC is moving up nicely. Okay, he is doing well. WDC looks good for long. Yeah, already in it. Oh. 35. Looks good, Yogi. Okay, FSLR, that's the move I was looking for. Under 50. Okay, FSLR, there we go. Okay, also doing good. This is great. Just like we said, traders, again, half my full share size still on, or a quarter of my full share size still on this trade, FSLR. I mean, I'm going to target around 220, actually. I'm taking now, took my partial in FSLR. That worked out like magic for me. Thank you, Scott. Yeah. And I'm looking Absolutely. for... What a drop. Right here, okay. I've got my 80 cents, approximately 80 cents in OKE, which was also my risk. So I'm about to take my partial in OKE. I won't let it move over 57.45. If it does, I'll take a partial. I know, Richard. I shorted Google under 118.50. Nasdaq moved over the highs. There's a mistake. Hey, what's going on? I just saw that. Let's see. Kavua. Over 5742, yeah, I take my partial in OKE. Okay, Disney new low. Good. Uh, Richard M, what's the issue with uh, my short in Google? I posted G double O G under 118.50. I'm green. I took in this my trade. partial in OKE. Same in WDC. I'm green. Disney is under the lows, but not much of a mover, really. I'm surprised to see the Nasdaq, which just moved over the highs. Looking at Apple also, I don't see much. So 
kind of strange to see the Nasdaq doing so. It's not a big move, it's just up 0 0.12. And the S&P is holding near the lows. We should trust the S&P. Institutional traders. Guys, Google. Decisions are based on the S&P, not on the Nasdaq. We should always remember that. Yeah. Whereas I am stuck in this HRB short with very little volume out going sideways. Look at that SRP starting to roll over. Linda, you shorted Google as well? I'm afraid uh, from the VWAP, but I will like the way uh, the daily chart of uh, Goog. I wait with WDC until 35, 60, 70 in order to take my first target. Okay, S&P under the lows. We've got a trend. Disney at the same time touched a new low. FSLR is moving to a new low. Partial was uh, right at the point. You can see the green candle there where we took the partial just moved up. I mean, obviously, I would have loved to wait a little bit more until now, but can't can't blame the fact that I took my partial before the pullback there. And same thing for OKE partial was due at the point where the partial was taken. OK, Disney. My target was very close to 91. It's touching there right now. It's a bit extended to the downside. I don't want to see it moving over 0 wow. 0.9. Another quarter off of FSLR. Another quarter off of FSLR. 200 shares to go on FSLR. Hey, I may yeah. not need to take another trade today. Go Disney. May Give not need to more take sense. another trade today. Wow. Come on, break down. You're helped by the market. Oh, okay, Rabbi can we get a breakdown under 92 now? The whole number. Yes, we do. Disney just came under the whole number. Now took my partial. FSLR is going. And I'm about to cover some more size. Covering now. Well, traders, that's the first 20 minutes of my trading session today. And as you can see here, I'm open with my close trade $5,700 with my open trade I believe it's just over six grand not bad for 20 minutes now you have been sitting here right here by my side and watching me trade and you noticed that I looked first and foremost at the S&P 500 now take a look at the S&P 500 it started with a gap up came down, closed the gap, it happens 80% of the time. And then now you can see that it continues to come down. Normally, the institutional buyers or the institutional sellers are following the S&P 500. That's the main institutional tool. When we have red candles, they will be selling. In green candles, they will be buying. So three of my trades, all of my trades were on the short side because I was looking for stocks which are relatively weak. You can see that Disney is down more than 1% and OKE is down more than 7.8% right now and FSLR is down almost 4%. So all of these stocks are relatively weak. I was looking for stocks that are outperforming the market, meaning coming down stronger than the S&P 500. That's the market. And just looking for stocks that have a nice technical reversal or a breakdown or a gap and go and so on. So it was a rather easy start for the trading session for me and three out of three winners definitely shows that. So again, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button for us and to subscribe to the channel right over here. You've got uh, the button to subscribe and it is a free trading room. You can join me each and every day. You can see my PL each and every day as I do live with thousands of other traders. So just join me. It's a free online trading room in YouTube. Please don't forget that trading is extremely hard. What you're seeing here is not typical. I am a very experienced trader, so be careful. Trading is hard. Start with a demo and then maybe sometime move to real money. Thank you again for watching this video. There's plenty of links right here below. One of them is for a free 14 day try to my live trading room where I will also answer your questions each and every day. So thank you for joining in and I'll see you in my next video.